Sure, so the Nebraska Surf P was called down to help augment Texas and help uh, serve the patients that are at need uh, with this disaster that has occurred with the Hurricane Harvey anyway. So we were called down, we were on standby, ready to help. Uh, once we got activated, we were able to set up in the Vidor High School parking lot and, and start seeing patients that need help. But not only anything from cuts and bruises all the way up to uh, medication refills or even higher level than that even. So. Being part of the guard, we're just ready and able. We train so much, we go through all these different exercises, especially with the surf pee, uh, and we really want to be there when people need it. And all this training that we do, uh, and when we were able to get activated to go, uh, it's excellent that we're able to utilize our resources that we do have, not only the people, but also the, the, the tents, the different resources of medications, for example, the different um, different tools that we have here. It's, it's wonderful for us to be able to be ready to serve uh, in the guard, but still uh, serve a civilian life. Uh, so it's, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, it's, that's what we train for. And uh, we're excited to be able to serve other people, not only our local Nebraska people, but also those that need it uh, here in Texas. So on the outside, currently I'm a family physician up in Northwest Iowa, so I do full scope family medicine, anything from inpatient, outpatient, OB, C-sections, colonoscopies. Uh, and I joined the guard back in uh, medical school, actually. I was looking for a way to um, serve our country uh, but still have some sort of flexibility within my own civilian life and the Air National Guard came about and I joined at that time uh, a little over eight years ago. The one thing that's standing out to me here is, is the need that uh, is here not only from a medical side of things but also from the uh, support uh, these families these people lost everything uh, from the flooding from the the hurricanes and what's really neat about it is that how welcoming they are I mean they have they may have lost everything but yet they still thank us for what we do and uh, they still put a f smile on their face so we can't help but to smile because of what they've gone through and yet they're still able to have a positive attitude so going home you know that it uh, you know we go through our trials and tribulations that we have at home but always remembering what the people here in Texas are going through and how they've lost everything but yet still keep a positive attitude that's pretty important there's so many things one is um, I am so proud of my unit um, they have performed admirably um, they're they've been outstanding they've done exactly what they were trained to do and what they were called on to do with um, outstanding service without exception um, and I'm I'm so so very proud of my unit um, so that that's a definite sense of pride with being able to come out here and really offer a service to the community and take care of a bunch of folks I guess the other feeling I have is that um, lots of love and care for this community um, they have been so grateful and so thoughtful and really taking us in and giving us meals and places to stay and just lots of um, thank yous and generosity and they are um, strong and they will rebuild but the devastation out here is severe. We were talking with the mayor today and over 85% of the community has been flooded here in Vider. Um, and so it's going to take a long time for them to recover and um, there's a lot of devastation and, um, and hardship but there's a lot of strength and they're going to need our support for a long time beyond you know, us picking up our footprint and leaving for medical resources, there's so many other people that need some, um, some help for a long time to rebuild. So uh, lots of joy for my unit and what they've been able to do here, and lots of sadness and hope uh, for the folks uh, going on forward. Actually, I took on command, when I took on command, I was a surf P doc. So I trained with the surf P, um, I knew the mission, and, um, and actually the transition to being commander rather than being in the, in the thick of it and being a doctor was a, is a rocky one for me. I'd rather be in the tents with the patients um, than coordinating other stuff. Um, and I'm the med group commander, to, you know, Colonel Shaddy um, generally is working with the surf peak. Colonel Shaddy is the one who's like trained this unit and taken them on exercises and made them into the amazing team that they are. Um, and so it's an easy job 
for me covering for him uh, and uh, during the day shift to take on the team and just let them do what they do best. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a lot different. When you're on the floor, you're taking care of that patient in front of you at that time. I'm really focused on the mission from that perspective. When you're commanding the unit, you're focused on, one, making sure your people are safe. They have everything they need to do the mission. You're really focusing on making sure that they have food, water, shelter, and supplies, and all of that. And then I think, to some degree, at least uh, on this deployment, we've been a little bit of a PR person for showing the the um, the other folks, the other resources, the the FEMA and the other community folks. Hey, this is what we can do for you, um, and this is the resource that you have available to you through a surf pee unit, or the pee Nebraska, or one of the other surf pees. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I joined the military to go to medical school. I'm a USU grad, so the military medical school in Bethesda, Maryland. So I went from undergrad right into uh, USIS. And so did my medical training there and did uh, my residency at Andrews Air Force Base. And then uh, served in the military for a few years, nine years after that. I had a break in service. I left the service for my family for a lot of reasons and then knew I wanted to come back and uh, came back in the guard. I have absolutely no regrets about doing the military, going to the military medical school. Anybody who comes to me wanting to go to medical school, I, I, I talk it up. It was an outstanding education, both from a medical perspective. Um, USIS is a joint environment. Um, it's a uh, it's a really kind of an army. It's a joint school, but it's the majority army. We have. Um, Air Force, Public Health Service, and Naval officers there training to be doctors. Um, so I started joint, um, and so it gave me a little bit of more of an understanding maybe of the other services coming into this position. Um, and uh, man, I think everybody has uh, treasured moments from their active duty career. Um, I, I don't think I could pick out one, um, but uh, but I, I taught in residency programs. I spent a couple years overseas. I had a really blessed career. Um, so, um, and, and those experiences helped make my transition into the Guard. Guard's a little different, but it kind of made me slide in at, uh, to the Guard pretty easily. aren't taking cash, they will not give cash back, debit or credit only, some places didn't open until 10, there are empty shelves of emptiness. Were you able to get your creamer that you were needing? We got the creamer, that's the most important thing. This management for all of Orange County, and so uh, since the beginning of this we've been trying to figure out what we're going to do as far as shelters and transporting people around and what to do without roads that we can't, they're, they yeah. can't, they're flooded, right. uh, not having power, uh, our shelters flooded, and this is something that really was unprecedented for the state of Texas. And so uh, that's why we're so happy to have you guys here uh, from all over the country. <laughs> 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 